Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be highlighting a portfolio website that I came across a while ago. I actually used one of the projects that Julian built in one of my other videos. It was the background gradient one, and you could check it out right here. And this was a really great resource for me for one of my projects, but he has a lot of other great resources that he's been building, and all of this code is open source, so let's go check out his website. So why did I feel the need to make a video? Because I like his style, I like the minimalism of it, as well as there's a lab that he's working on where he's developing components using Tailwind CSS, and we are gonna take a look at that in a second. But yeah, I'll put Julian's information in the description and the website itself. Uh, he is a senior front-end developer. He's crafting UIs with React since 2016. And yeah, and right now this is the stuff that he's working on. And on the main page, you could see this is the latest of one of his labs. And if you see, if we click on this, it opens up this nice pop over. And if we close it, it closes back in. So it's really nice and sleek. And these are his other projects that I mentioned. He has one for buttons. So there's a whole library of buttons here. If you hover over them, each one has their own action. So this is a really great resource. And as you can see, there's just a bunch of different types of buttons that you might have never even thought existed. And the GitHub is here as well. And yeah, there's been a lot of people that have checked it out. And then he has another project, dark mode UI snippets. So here's some snippets just for dark mode. It's very similar. We got some buttons going on and we also got some text with some gradients and one that glows. That's very eye-catching. Could be really good as a CTA. And yeah, these are just all really nice and cool and lastly he has this create minimal logo free website and as you can see it gives you a really nice ui to create some logos you can choose a specific shape you have to first log in though so i'm going to quickly log in and then once you're logged in you'll have access to a bunch of these shapes and these are some pretty great shapes to start with in terms of building your project as a placeholder or even to use it as your actual logo you know there's some abstract vectors that are pretty nice that I've seen actually across some other people's sites so I think it's a nice place to get some inspiration or just a starting point to not hold you back so you could do something like this and then you could change the name let's say I have a project called repo mapper so let's see if I want to update the logo for that all I would need to do is type it like this and then we could change whatever we want to change like let's say we want to change the orientation to be something like this and if we want to change the color you know it's very nice you could see also the assets it generates and what it would look like on certain pages which is pretty cool and yeah this is a really really great resource and you can download it and this is all free so yeah and it says you can go follow him on x it helps him a lot i'll also include that in the description below and let's go back to the website and we will go to lab now and we will see this creative space for ui experiments component explorations and interaction design so i feel like this reminds me of emil's animations and interactivity if you're not familiar with emil he's the creator of sonar which is the toast as well as a couple other um, libraries as well that are popular amongst the react community and yeah but very similar i felt like but it has his own style to it this one's pretty cool if you click on it, it does this effect and if you click it back it puts it back this is cool when i saw it and then you could unlock the code by putting in your email i'm gonna quickly put in my email so then here we go this is what it is it's just a framer motion with the specific presets and yeah all this code is available for you it's a lot less code than i thought it would be which is pretty cool like so let's go to the next one. He has a timeline and let's see, I call this timeline component, but it could be used for many other purposes. I've also seen Rono exploring this kind of design. So if you hover over it, you could see the date pop up. And if you click on it, it keeps the color until you click on something else. So this is so cool. And then also, like I said, the code is right here. He's using a use state, hover index selected on mouse enter. It does, a, it performs a specific thing. And then on mouse sleeve, it performs 
a hover. And yeah, this is the code right here, all of it using just Tailwind CSS. And you wouldn't think, you know, you could do so much with Tailwind just by itself. And Framer, don't forget Framer. So here's another one of a card carousel. It's pretty unique. I haven't seen any other carousel that's like this. Yeah, we got the code. And yeah, there are a lot of other components. Let's see, this one was pretty cool. It simulated the iPhone lock screen. <laughs> and that's so cool. Look at that. When you have when you drag it, it gets rid of the text when you go back. It's like what Apple did. Let's see. I created the classic slide to unlock. Yeah, this doesn't exist anymore. I wish I still and there's like a story behind each component, which is even more awesome. Let's see, there's this one, the family popover. When you click on this button, it pops up like this. So smooth and nice. And when you click it, and when you click down on it, it scales down. And here's the code. And then this one was really cool. When you click over it, you could see the underline is moving and there's a glow that's happening underneath it. Let's see what's the story behind this. I created this curved tab bar inspired by PlayStation app. It's crafted with frame motion and utilizes offset path and offset distance. Okay. So it really is a lab. Like it seems like he's testing out different things and different offsets. And look, there's a lot of probably calculations involved and seeing what pixels or what what styling works best to make it have that like really smooth look i think out of all of them which one is my favorite let's see if we go look at another one here's the next one the scroll reveal animation if you scroll down you see that there's a little bit of a blur and then the more you scroll it like brings that item back up and this is cool Let's look at this one, the un underlay action sheet. If you bring this up, it, it brings an action sheet up like that. You could, these buttons don't seem like they work, but probably, you know, you could use it as a button if you wanted to, but this one I'm assuming does work. There we go. That's really nice. Okay. Vision OS icon. If you hover over it, it has this animation effect. I wonder what you used here. Is it, it's still frame or motion. Dang. And you're changing the path. Look at all these paths. They're probably, I think the lines on here, maybe the lines most likely on the compass. Wow. Okay. This one's a lot more code compared to the other ones, but still, you know, you have the code there. Ooh, I think out of all of them, this might be my favorite. Look at that. How does it do? Okay. I'm going to zoom in. How does it do this when you hover over it? and then bring it back in. It's like merging. Where is that happening in the code? I have to, oh, Gaussian blur. That makes sense. Okay, you're using a Gaussian blur. Got you. Okay. And he has some style JSX in here. That way you could have everything in one piece of code. Nice. And then we got <laughs> something cool like this. You got some cursor animation effects. And uh, yeah, those are a couple of the items that he's created so far. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what other things he's going to create. Which one of these is your favorite? Like you look, you wouldn't expect it. If you click on this, look, you get this little pop over. Interesting. Yeah, try it. Try this out. And yeah, that's it for the lab portion of his portfolio. And lastly, here's his blog where he explains the code behind the components that he's been building. So it's really helpful to see and get the explanation directly from the developer. So it's pretty cool to see you get the code as well as explanation. And you can see it's been really thought out. And let's see, UI effects. If you want different UI effects, you could check them out. Let's see, tilt effect. This is doing the tilt effect. And then you can see the code behind it. And then use it if you want. Really, really good stuff. And then lastly, let me blind you guys. There is light mode for this as well. Yeah, let me go back to dark mode again. So check out his site. Let me know what you think. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.